Scott. Look at the dream. You think you'd see a world title fight on this pitch here? No, I never know. But what a fantastic game, what a fantastic atmosphere. Fantastic. Do you think Tony can pull it off? You've trained alongside him at Finch Farm, the training complex. You also rendered Johnny Nelson unable to walk famously when we previewed it on ringside. How much does Tony put in and how much do you dearly want him to win it? Oh, Tony puts in a fantastic amount of work. He's a fantastic professional and he's such a great fighter. I'm all desperate for him to win tonight. He always said that it was his dream to uh, play up front for Everton. A lot of people say you two would have made a big double act. Yeah, I think that I've seen, seen a few red cards, I think, but yeah. Tony's a fantastic guy, I'm always on well tonight. Thanks, Duncan. Thank well, Carl, it's cold in here. Defeated as a cruiserweight. He's the former Commonwealth and British light heavyweight champion, former WBC silver light heavyweight champion, and the reigning European cruiserweight champion. He is the cruiserweight fighting pride of Liverpool, England, Tony. trying to draw him close. Yep, I like the attitude of Bill Yu. He's thinking what he's doing here. And Makabu against the ropes then comes out again. 
hooks, but you'll see this with Makabu on tape. But these are nice, solid, hurtful punches that are coming in from Bellew. And Makabu is shipping a lot of punishment here. Hooks to the body, right hands upstairs. Bellew's got to keep his head, though. He's dangerous like that! The left hand spun him over right on the bell. I want to look at his eyes here and that. I don't think there was a damage in shot. The fact that he didn't crumple to the floor. The jams, whether it's blocking, whether it's hooking. He's got to stay active with that. Nice little right to the body there. Makabu very much on the front court. Bellew does land the hook. Makabu backing up and getting out of trouble. Bellew's got to stay patient here, though. He's been here before, but Makabu blocking, covering. But if he's leaning back, he's not going to get power in his shots, but he's heavy-handed, that was a good left hook he got home with. The good work from Del Yubi, he's taken too many chances he's now. He's got to be careful. Solid oh, shots by Makabu, looks like he's in serious trouble now. Is this it? The legs are buckled. Bellew's going for it. Bellew flat out here. What's Makabu got? He's in trouble. He stopped. Bellew's done it. Hamilton, good as the park, goes for Zap. He's destroyed Makabu, who's still on the floor. Some distress. Bellew doesn't know it, his team don't know it. Now they've realized. Because Macabre right in front of us is flat out sprawled on this ring. Well, nobody saw that coming. Macabre was leaning back in the ropes against the when he was in the corner. And Tony just let it go. I think he knew if he yes, was back. But as I said a few seconds ago, he calls himself <laughs> Tony Bomber Bellew. Well, those were bombs he was throwing tonight. Terrific punches. He saw his chance and he grabbed it. And grabbing hold. But he was the puncher. He's used to knocking other people out. He's not used to terrific, being under pressure. And this is, this is the nice part of boxing, isn't it? I mean, this is what people do not understand about this crazy business. It's a sport. Look at that. can't be friends before because I think you're a lovely guy and I don't want to be friends before. You understand I respect you so, so much. on the fringes of boxing who somehow thinks Tony Bellew is a bit of a bad guy, you know. How can you possibly think that when you see and hear a gesture and words like that? What class from Tony Bellew. Yeah, really, really impressive. We were hoping to hear from Carl. It was all over so quickly. But, yeah, let's bring you in now, Carl. Your assessment of Tony Bellew and that performance. Well, he caught McCarthy with a great shot. Got a hold of the left hook and then... He he jumped jumped great performance by Tony Bellew, and he, you know, Macabre's a good little fighter as well, dangerous, and um, just fantastic, I can't get my words, I really can't, this is just phenomenal. But again, it shows that Macabre, if he lacked one thing, it was experience at a high level, the best name on his record, a 45-year-old Glenn Johnson, who was at his best many years ago, you know this, tough, tough man, at super middle, not at cruiser, and I don't think he'd ever been hit as hard as that. Well, the lack of experience as well, I mean, he should have really tied Tony up, grabbed hold of him, done anything, or even taken a knee, but he stood there with his chin in the air towards the end, and he was getting hit with clean, flush shots, and it was just an absolutely devastating performance from Tony Bellew, and he's a puncher, and he landed some clean, accurate, heavy bombs, and that's the result you get, and, um, just how Makabu is sat on his stool now, he seems to be recovered. He looks the part, he looks okay, he looks recovered. And um, Tony Bellu was there, and we saw them amazing scenes. The boxing, that's what boxing's about. And what it means to him, and what it means to the man he's hugging 20 there. 20 seconds, round number two. The dream has come true for this fighter from Liverpool, England. Here in Goodison Park, Liverpool, the winner, and new WBC. Cruiserweight champion of the world, Tony Palmer Bello. Move over, pretty Ricky Conlon. Tony Bellew, real life world champion. Crowning 
a wonderful weekend for British boxing. After Ricky Burns last night, a win double. Stunning, spectacular. Any superlatives you like, he's earned them tonight. Well, better than the movie. Tony Bellew is the WBC Cruiserweight Champion of the World, knocking out Elungu Makaba in the third round. We'll hear from the new champion after this break. I told you, I'm an Everton, I'm Everton, I am Everton, and that's why I got up, nothing was going to stop me tonight, Andy, you know what, I can't put it into words, my son's never been to a fight, and I, I came out of the year at 7 o'clock tonight when I arrived, and I seen my son, he's never been to a fight, and I actually cried in the dressing room two hours ago before the fight, because he broke me heart when I looked at his gorgeous little face, he looks like his mother, but uh, it broke me heart, but you know what, I've achieved the dream tonight. All them people out there, hey, fish eyes, you said I couldn't do this. Well, I've done it. I am world champion. That's what I am. I am world champion. If you were going to do it, it seems you were going to do it the hard way. On the floor in the first round, a nightmare start. What was going through your mind at that point? Do you know what, Anne? All as I do is I believe in me, coach. And I believe in all these people around me. They always hide. The Russian, Fran, they always hide on me because they don't want to see him by cameras, but my dad, Rachel, my missus with me, my sons, I do it all for them, and Dave, without Eddie Ayn, without the chairman, Bill Kenwright, I couldn't have done this tonight. So, so much credit has to go to them. Listen, the only thing I really have to say is, Everton! 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 Listen to that. Have you ever seen anything like that, and? You know the last time I seen that? I was in a Hollywood movie. Now it's real. It's real. Michael Buffer's here tonight. Eddie's made it happen. I've lived the dream tonight. Nothing was gonna stop me. And I've just beat the best cruiserweight in the world. I'm the best now. I'm the best. I don't care what they all say. I'm the best cruiserweight in the world. Dennis Lebedev, I ain't coming to Russia. Come and get this, baby. Because I've got the main belt now. I'm the man to beat in this division. Come and get this, or that bitch from Bermondsey, I'll fight him too. Come back down to your natural weight and fight a real cruiserweight, because you've gone long enough fighting them clowns on that joke channel. Do you know, know what I've won? And I told everyone here, I don't know how I'm going to do it, I don't know when it's going to come, but I'm going to win. And I've won. I'm WBC champion of the world. After that first round knockdown. <laughs> Are you feeling tired? Don't know, my right hand's broke. <laughs> <laughs> my body's broke. Yeah, that was a bigger fight than in there. Do you know what made him champion of the world? That's what matters. Thanks right, you guys, very much. I've already paid you, haven't I? Why do you think I'm back to the winning account? Oh, don't get him sweaty on me. Oh, God. Uh, I love you. Got a bit of value.